Namaskar, welcome to my new vlog. So welcome to another series of what I ate in a day. So this video is a collection of 3 to 4 days. So let's start. So this was for the breakfast. I ate some carrot rice. So this is like a mixed vegetable pulao made from basmati rice in a pressure cooker. So here you can see a sambar which is a famous GSB dish known as alavati. For this a collocation leaves, taro leaves and other types of leaves are added. And along with some dal and masala it is cooked together so it will give a nice spicy and sour taste goes well with chapati rice so here you can see some plain dosa along with some uh, green peas sabzi so uh, I made this green peas sabzi uh, along with some onion and other tempering so this was for the next day's breakfast I had some neer dosa so this uh, neer dosa is uh, simple neer dosa but this onion masala uh, I made it. So first you need to chop the onions and then add tamarind water and coconut oil, some water and salt and chilli powder. So it goes well along with some pani puri also. So these are some poha for the evening snack, a simple masala poha with some spices and salt and jaggery. So I made some snack so this is called as churmuri. For this you need to add vegetable, onion and rasam powder. So this is the lemon churmuri which is a plain uh, puffed rice. Uh, I added some uh, rasam powder and coconut oil, salt and some lime juice. So here I made some uh, simple vegetable momos. For this I didn't prepare any chutney but I uh, added uh, spices to the masala itself. So these are made up of maida. So the same momos can be used to make fry momo or uh, semi fried momos or you can uh, eat the steamed momos. So this is for the breakfast I am having some idli. So this is the rava idli along with some urad dal. So this contains no rice along with some dal and uh, sambar. So here you can see some green moong sabzi which is cooked uh, which is soaked and then soaked for 8 hours and then it is cooked and here you can see some uh, jackfruit idli so the jackfruit are blended along with some rava jaggery and elaichi powder and badam so in our home there was a program uh, so this is the green chutney for the breakfast along with some rava idli it contains urad dal and rava and this is the mixture a spicy mixture contains boondi peanuts and sev etc so this was for the lunch I had some red rice which is the boiled red rice along with some dal and sambar of bindi which is the lady's finger and these are some sabzi of cauliflower these are made up of cauliflower and rava cauliflower rava fry along with some pickle. So here I am making some chutney powder chutney powder uh, this chutney powder can be used uh, along with the idli to make uh, Id fry idli or you can also apply to the masal dosa or you can eat it with the rice so here I took some chana dal urad dal in the same proportion and you can add any spice uh, if you wish like black pepper or coriander seeds jeera but uh, the most important is the red chilli I have took some badigi red chilli and you need to roast all this and then add some garlic and you need to uh, rest them until it gets to the room temperature it need to be cooled down completely and after that you can add uh, any types of powder like red chili powder salt and haladi powder etc so here it need to be uh, cooled down and then let's mix it uh, let's grind it first you need to coarsely grind it and then grind it as a fine powder in a small mixer so you need to rest this uh, powder for uh, 2 to 3 hours, you need, it need to be cooled completely and then you can store in an airtight container and you can enjoy it for 3 to 4 days. So these are some uh, rice roti along with some red pickle. So this batter is same like neer dosa but contains a proportion of boiled rice, white rice and salt, water and some uh, coconut. So here you can see some leaves, uh, these are cleaned and then this is soaked in a salt water to remove its itchiness and then it is rolled along with some batter and we make this uh, podi or the fritters out of this. So this contains rice, dal, uh, other types of spices, salt and then like a patrode you need to roll it and then we need to fry it. 
so this is fried in a coconut oil so in a medium flame you need to fry it for 5 to 10 minutes you can also fine it into a uh, chop it into a small small pieces and mix it with a little thick masala and then you can also uh, fry it like a, a fritters or bhaji so this is for the lunch i am having some pulao boiled rice dal and some sabzi so this is a sabzi of mangalore cucumber and along with some colocasia leaves and jackfruit seeds which is uh, steamed and skin is removed and then it is boiled so this is for the breakfast i am having some vegetable pulao so this is a simple pulao made out of uh, basmati rice and garam masala along with some vegetables the spices are this is a simple uh, pulao which is cooked in a pressure cooker along with some spices and vegetable so here you can see some cucumber dosa this dosa is made up of the nir dosa batter for that extra salt and cucumber uh, which is the grated cucumber is added to it so i ate it along with some uh, ready made green chili pickle this is made in our home which is uh, readily it can be made easily within 1 hour so here you can see some besan dosa so these are the leftover besan batter which we use for the fritters so along with some jeera and other spices and salt you can uh, make like a plain dosa so this is for the breakfast the mangalore buns so this buns contains the normal items but it contains the cavendish variety of banana which is grown in our garden so this cavendish banana gives it a very sweet taste along with extra softness so this is for the next day snacks i am having some nir dosa and palak masala so that's it for today's video i hope you liked this video please subscribe my channel let us meet in the next video bye bye Thank you.